two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, two, one, one, one. To be received like this in a foreign land, my God, it is overwhelming. I have never felt so much warmth and openness, so much love for our music. It inspires me so. But I wonder how much they can understand and where all this will lead to. There's so much in our music that goes back thousands of years. The prayers in our temples, the pain and struggle of life, the sound of the rivers, the timeless chants, 
so many things that are within me whenever I play, whatever I do.
It is strange to think of seeing Baba again, returning to his little village after so many years. Baba, my music guru. Whenever I think of him, I have a mixture of fear and awe. For us, Guru is sometimes greater even than God. He is the teacher through whom all knowledge is passed on. When I first came to Baba in Maiha, he was shocked to see me. I was a dancer in Paris in my brother Uday's troupe. Uday taught me many things during those years. He gave me a great love and respect for the beautiful traditions of my country. But I was young in those days and very spoiled. Everything excited me. Dance, painting, music. I used to fiddle with many instruments in those days, including the sitar. I dressed like a dandy and chased girls all the time. Baba would always say to me, in this life you must do one thing, and one thing persistently. But you, you are like a butterfly. If you want to learn music, you must leave everything else. When you feel you are ready, then come to me. For a year and a half, I struggled with myself. Then finally, I left Paris and came to Baba in Meher. Taking a guru was the biggest decision of my life. It demanded absolute surrender, years of fanatic dedication and discipline. I stayed with Baba more than seven years. He was a tyrant, absolutely, and I was always frightened of him. Now I thank God for bringing me to Baba. What he gave me is all my life. Baba must be almost hundred years old now. It's like returning to my own family. I wonder how he will receive me. Oh, 
Those months, years we spent in his little room on one piece, one raga, until it became alive. And we both would shed tears. I'm always afraid when I play. I pray I can do justice to my guru, to my music. For me, there is always that sadness in a raga, that wanting to reach something that I know beforehand I never will. And each note is like crying out, searching.
I feel all the richness of India in our music. A raga reflects the spiritual hopes of our people, the constant struggle for life. It is drawn out of the prayers in our temples, life on our rivers, the Ganges. In the holy city of Banaras, sound is everywhere. As a child, I would spend hours filling myself with the vibrations of this place. Our music reveals to me the whole process of creation, from the childbirth to the death.
are struggling with so many problems today. Living with the past, trying to adjust to new ideas, modern ways. Our patterns of life are changing everywhere. It is happening so fast. It must affect our beautiful traditions, our music, our dance. It takes years to train for the dance. Four hours to put on the makeup. A performance can go through whole night. The great dance epics of Kathakali are still presented from time to time. It has survived for hundreds of years. I wonder about tomorrow.
I am so much in love with the past of our country. It gave me all the beautiful things that I see and feel when I play. But our traditions, the very soul of our music, they seem to be slipping away. They are losing a certain depth which was there even a few years ago. And there is so little concern, such indifference. The young people are drifting away from their roots. They care so little for their heritage. I suppose this is inevitable in the modern world. But this makes me very sad. At times, I feel I don't belong today. My roots are so deep in the past that sometimes I feel like a stranger even in my own country. I see myself in this young boy. He comes to me as I went to Baba so many years ago to become his disciple. I feel all over again the joy of those years. This young man waited five years to become my disciple, but he's born of a different time. He cannot come to me with the same spirit. This initiation ceremony can never really mean the same thing. It has become more of a ritual. But I believe in this tradition. It is so important for me to keep alive all I have learned and pass it on. Om Namaste Guru Vetasai Ishto Deva Sarupine Jashabakka Madanghanti Vishwabakkaan Tathashubang Om Sri Guru Abhinama Madan Om Aibbarcha Jashom Aibbarcha 
In the past, this moment was beginning of all learning, the tying of a great spiritual bond between the two. But perhaps it is not enough to live in past alone. For the future, I want to keep the traditions pure. But at the same time, I have creative urge. I have to always experiment with new things. Yeah, 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 yeah
But this will play thrice because Rela packing and there's a Tiha Indian, right? Ready? Once more. One, two, three, four. Stop it. Sorry. Uh, once it has been no more twice. One, two, three, four. First line ka half, 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 half. One, two, three, four. Since the days in Paris with my brother Uday, I always dreamt of bringing our music to the West. Now that it is possible, I am filled with doubts and fears. Throughout my life, whenever I have reached these moments of confusion, 
I look to the great yogi, Tat Maharaj, my spiritual guru. All that transpires with spiritual guru is something very intimate, something very personal. To me, Tat Maharaj is not so much a living person as a great force in my life. He has always been the one to put me in touch with the real strength within myself. As a Hindu, I believe blessing of Guru is the most priceless thing in life. Whenever I have needed him most, miraculously, he always appeared. At times, we would sit together for hours and converse without words. Or if he wasn't there, I would have visions, dreams, and through him, always found the answer. Whatever doubts I may have, I feel there is within me something very sacred, very strong. Ravi 
Shankar, it has been your great achievement to open virtually single-handed the door between two great cultures. With missionary zeal, you have devoted your adult life to making the Western world aware of the splendors of Indian music and to sharing with us the deep spiritual qualities that are found in it. We honor you as a composer, as a peerless musician. We honor you also as an outstanding teacher. I confer upon you the honorary degree Doctor of Fine Arts, and with it, all the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the proudest moments in my life, and I feel far too overwhelmed and touched to say anything else than just to say that I thank from the bottom of my heart the University of California for giving such honor to the great music of India and a very humble musician from India. Thank you. many Western musicians and composers have taken to our music. It's something I have always hoped for. I have known Yehudi Menuhin since I was a child in Paris. Through the years, He's awakened so much interest in our classical music. It's a joy to play with him.
जैसा कि जब ताला आरूप हो है तो बड़ा कमाल का जगह लॉस एंजेलस में लेकिन यहाँ स्मॉग बहुत है नहीं आपको ये बेवरली हिल पसंद है मुझे तो बड़ा अच्छा लगता है ये हॉलीवुड बोल देखा है ना आपने क्या हरी भरी जगह है ये कैलिफोर्निया वाह 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 It is strange to see pop musicians with sitars. I was confused at first. It had so little to do with our classical music. When George Harrison came to me, I didn't know what to think. But I found he really wanted to learn. I never thought our meeting would cause such an explosion. That Indian music would suddenly appear on the pop scene. It's peculiar. But out of this, a real interest is growing. Now once more, 
वंदे गुरुदेव जय जय कर गुरुदेव जय श्री जय श्री गुरुदेव जय जय गुरुदेव इट इज इन प्रेज ऑफ द गुरु वंदे मीन्स नॉट टू हेल्प बट हेल हेल एच ए आई एल निरे ग प भ गे निरे ग प नि निरे ग प नि रेनी पगा रेनी पा रेनी पगा रेनी पा मेरे गा परे मेरे गा परे टट टट पट टट टिंग टट टट 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 
He ran away from home at the night of the marriage. That, he, even, even that couldn't keep him. You know, his thirst for music was so great and it's fantastic, absolutely. And not only once, twice he was married. And he did the same thing second time also. <clears throat> uh, so, where was I? <laughs> I realize many of my students have taken to our music because it is new. There is tremendous wave of interest in sitar. But there is a danger of its going wrong. They learn scales, and in a few weeks, they want to play a raga completely. They'll have to demand more of themselves. It's curious how things change in this country from month to month. They are involved right now, but I feel so much impatience. You cannot simply pick up a sitar and call it Indian music. It is so much more. श्रीमद् भगवतो महापुरुषस्य विष्णो राज्ञा प्रवर्तमानस्य अद्य ब्रह्मणो द्वितीये प्रार्थे श्री श्वेतवाराह कल्पे वैवस्वतवन मंदरे अष्टाविंशति तमे युगे कल युगे प्रथम चरणे ओम जम्बुद्वीपे अमेरिका खंडे पश्चिमतेरे शालिवाहन शके अस्मिन् वर्तमाने दिवस नक्षत्रे रेवती नक्षत्रे मेष नक्षराश्याम अस्मिन् वर्तमाने मंत्रही नम क्रियाही नम भक्ति नम सुरेश्वर यत् पूजित मयादेव परिपूर्ण तदस्तुमे इति श्री कृष्णार परमस्तु ओम शांत 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 ही This is the beginning of all learning. It cannot mean the same here as in India. But I can give this young man and other students who are serious the concept of guru and disciple. Help them understand something of what it meant to me. I want to teach more and more the old traditions, reach more people, 
spread a deeper understanding of our music.
I wonder if I try to do too much. If I took on a false role in America. Somehow, I simply could not let it go. I keep asking myself if all this terrible distortion could have been avoided. You cannot just brush the surface of a culture and pretend that you have found an answer. We must turn inward to the deepest of our own roots to find the very best of who we are. But it is a constant search, trying to reach something that I can see and feel, that I can almost touch but never hold on to. Music is the only language I really know. For I believe in Nada Brahma. The sound is God. <laughs> 